You're welcome back to my channel. You're welcome back to Taron Innovative World, the home of creativity and exploit. If today is the first time of seeing my channel, do well by subscribing. All you need to do is click on the red subscribe button and there's a bell beside it. Click on it so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. And also click on all under the notification so that you get notified whenever I upload a new if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please do well by subscribing to my channel. And also, please like this video by clicking the thumbs up button. Please click on thumbs up button. It's very, very important so that, um, you know, so that YouTube can really appreciate, know that the video is appreciated. And also, I organize Telegram classes whereby you have one-on-one, -on -one, you know, discussion with me. You can ask questions and I teach a lot there. I teach you how to become a profitable bag maker and a lot more. You can ask me personal questions relating to bags. If you're interested in the Telegram class, you can call or WhatsApp me on 080-365-88365. If you're not in Nigeria, you can add plus 234 Nigerian code to the number. All right, so in today's video, I'll be teaching you how you'll be learning how to make another beautiful bag. All right, so I and my team will be teaching you how to make another beautiful bag this day. All right, so just watch out as we make this video. All right, so the measurement is, um, the main body is 10 by 15 inches, okay? And you can also check the description box for the measurements, okay? So now this is the main body and it's 10 by 15 inches. Why this one is the front cover, the front body is also part of the body, but it's the front, so it's 10 by 9 inches okay so you curve it all right so in my previous videos i've shown you how to curve so you curve the top of the 10 inches side all right and then we're using foam so this is foam for making lunch bag all right so and then this is lining all right so now this is the right side of your leather material. Then, now the for the lining, the right side will be the one is the one facing down. Okay. So you just top stitch it round. And you can see that for the lining, the lining is bigger than the main body. Okay, so it's very important. Don't measure the lining to be the same thing as the main body. Even the foam, you can see that it's a bit bigger than the, the material, the main, the leather. Alright, so... After you have sewn it, the next thing is to trim off the excess. Trim off the excess. So you drop that one aside and walk on the other side, which is the bigger side of the bag. So you still top stitch it round. So the next thing is to trim off the SS neatly.
all right so just work out for the next thing to be done so you can see that it started from the from this edge right Please support this channel. With anything, nothing is too small for data money. <laughs> I hope you are enjoying yourself. <laughs> So basically what you do is you just keep sewing. You sew it this way and then come back and sew it to the other side so as to have box box. Box these shapes in between. So you can see what we have here. So you just to have box these shapes. So you're going to do the same thing to the other bag, to the other side.
see what we have. So cut a long strap, one inch. You're using it to cover the tip of the, of the main body. Alright, so now you drop that aside. The next thing is the side. Alright, and the side is 3.5. That's 3 and a half inches by 25 inches. Three and a half by twenty-five inches, and then you also need your lining. Of course, you know that the right side is the one here. So after sewing it round, you you cut out the excess. All right. Fold it and top stitch. So you bring out, you bring the The half body and so it's So after stop stitching the the top of of the seat of the middle, then you continue with your two. So this is what we have. Okay. So for you to get the center, so 
So he's trying to get the midpoint. Okay. So he will also get the center of this uh, of the big body. <laughs> 